think I just invented the world's lightest direct drive extruder with a NEMA 14 motor. All right, so how much do you think this little extruder weighs? It has fully integrated cooling for the heat brake and the stepper motor. So I'm flushing the air out right over the motor. Let's take a look. We're at 118 grams. Let's add the wire to it, which maybe that's not fair, but 127. Let's add two IGUS bearings. That's 129. Let's add a part cooling duct. 134 and uh, something like this carriage essentially for two I guess bearings so we're right at 150 grams now to be uh, to be fair I should probably do this so realistically we're going to be well uh, just a hair under 150 grams the fact that the extruder itself with the cooling system is 120 grams is just wild to me so how does this work we have one gear actually let me move over to my printer and show you how this extrudes here's the world's lightest direct drive extruder with the NEMA 14 motor I zoom in a little bit closer so uh, let's uh, Click extrude and feed some fresh filament right into the extruder. So I'm extruding at 12 cubic millimeters per second right now. Uh, let me go up a little bit, just increment it slightly. This is 14.4 cubic millimeters. Let's go up slightly. This is 16.8 cubic millimeters. I think I'm beginning to feel a little bit of resistance. So I'm going to stop at this, maybe back off a little bit and just uh, show you how, how this is extruding. So I can just uh, use my 3D printer in this setup and just draw something. I'm not an artist, so forgive me. But uh, you can see how much material I'm able to extrude here. And just pretty impressive. This is uh, My first little 3D printer, 3D pen exercise. We can try to draw something. You get the idea. But the extruder is extremely light. I can almost use this as a pen. And um, that little in, uh, internal gear looks amazing. Now, let me show you something extremely exciting. Um, I'm going to retract 70 millimeters. Oh, it doesn't let me go above 50. Okay. For now, we'll go 50 and let's go 5,000 millimeters per second on the retraction. Let's retract. So that was super cool and fast. And let me grab a little bit of a Ninja Flex. So I have a really old spool of original Ninja Flex here. I'm going to just hang that here. You can see how, how flexible this is. This is the OG TPU. I'm going to cut this off because I already played with it a little bit. And I uh, will extrude 50 millimeters of this amazing material. But instead of going on the normal path here, I'm going to feed it under a third 
under our third compression uh, bearing. which increases the pressure against the filament so that this is actually has a really good bite. Looks like we're beginning to extrude. Let's do 50 millimeters of this stuff. So I'm going really slow right now, 7.2 cubic millimeters per second. You can see that GPU is extruding. Extrude 9.6 cubic millimeters per second. Let's do that again. We're extruding at 9.6 cubic millimeters per second. The motor is cool to touch. I'm again cooling it really efficiently. And uh, this is my tiny little extruder. It's going to be epic in tool changer and IDEX setups because now I can do four, six, eight tools and I don't have to worry about the MMU or AMS or yeah, I don't have to have any kind of uh, multiplexer setup. Just a dedicated extruder for each material and each nozzle. So I'm very excited about that. Put this into the original path now and hit extrude. So I just drove that in at pretty high speed. Switch it to 10 millimeter. Uh, this is extruding at 24 cubic millimeters per second. Wow. And it's keeping up. Let's do that again. So at 260, PLA goes much faster, obviously, because my little preheat zone is working on this Magnum. So really, um, Mosquito has contributed a lot to this concept. They shrunk and make, made the heat break tiny. They added a preheat zone here. And uh, the only part where they were left behind is um, their heater was way too big and too heavy it was uh, too heavy for what we need and in this setup in this configuration this guy is absolutely a beast let me show you how this draws wild piccolino i think the, the name may have to change because this is anything but a you know, low speed extruder. This can probably keep up with the best of them. So, can't wait to put this on my motion system. I did the previous version on a carriage already in this machine, uh, but this is the next level. So, world's lightest, simplest extruder, Piccolino. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.